Hi, I'm Eric Dinkins with Motion Guidance, and today we're going to discuss ACL rehab using the Motion Guidance device. In this example, we have the small strap placed approximately one inch above the kneecap. The flat mount and the laser are then slid into the sleeve on the strap. The patient can then turn the laser on and place it approximately in front of the big toe. Perfect. For this example, we'll now have the patient perform a standard squat. This will allow us to both assess what motions are happening at the knee and the lower chain, as well as give the patient immediate visual feedback on what motion is happening. Go ahead and perform a squat. Slower. Perfect. Ideally, we are looking for deviations outside of the normal, which might include excessive knee valgus. Therefore, the laser would go across the midline of the flag or inappropriate proprioceptive deficit, which might include shaking of the laser throughout the range of motion. Let's try three more. After performing squatting activities, we can progress this activity to single leg squatting. In this example, the patient would stand on the right leg and perform a single leg squat, again watching the feedback from the laser. Good. This is an excellent way for both the clinician and the patient to understand what action is occurring and what needs to be changed or what needs to be exercised. As a different progression, the patient can put a soft surface under their non-involved side, apply the motion guidance device to the involved side, turn on the laser, and perform more squatting activities. Good. This will give the patient an option of using partial weight bearing to progress to full weight bearing on the involved side. We can also progress further by putting the soft surface underneath the involved side. The patient can just then perform single leg squatting on the involved side while standing on the soft surface, which will promote more of a challenge for body balance and awareness. Good. As an advanced application, the patient can start doing Varus and valgus reversals while in a double or single limb squat to challenge both range of motion, body awareness, and motor control. The patient can turn on the laser, have it placed in front of the big toe. He will then go through a squat, move the laser to the left, into valgus, to the right for varus, back to the middle, and then up. We can then, then that's okay. We can then do this in single leg stance. Squatting to the left, to the right, back to the middle, and then up. Good.
A functional application for the motion guidance device at the knee is using a step. Once the device has been placed at the knee, the patient can step up with the involved side. The laser will be turned on and placed out into the target on the flag. Once properly set up, the patient can then perform a step up and get immediate visual feedback on actions that are happening during the exercise. Back down. Perfect. Once appropriate training has been achieved, you can advance this to a step down. The patient can then step up and then step over, still maintaining control of the lower limb. Good. What do you think?